Hey guys, Tech Bravo here with you coming from the shed quarters. Uh, I've seen a lot of questions about the um, light object air assist head and the stock K40 head. And uh, so I put the old stock head back on Cyclops and I was going to run through a quick tutorial uh, about these heads and the different ways you can mount them and some of the trouble that I've seen people run into uh, on some of the groups and forums. So this is the stock K40 head as it comes and it comes with a 12 millimeter diameter lens with a 2 inch or 50.8 millimeter focal length. So it's a 12 millimeter lens that comes stock with those. This is the light object air assist. It does not come with a lens but it has a place for an 18 millimeter lens which I have and they also make a little aluminum o-ring that comes with these now they didn't used to but they come with it so that you can put a 15 millimeter diameter lens in there I chose to go with the 18 and eliminate that adapter altogether so there have been questions about uh, it not fitting, the light object not fitting in this uh, plate uh, and some other things like that. So I wanted to show you a few, a few tips and tricks. First of all, before you take your stock head off, if you're going to, watch, watch through to the end because you don't necessarily have to take this part off even. If you're worried about alignment, you don't even have to take this off if you have this light object uh, air assist unless you just want to and I'll show you about that. The very first thing you want to do is take a pencil and mark this all the way around so that you know where it is. There is a little bit of play in here so it might not go back exactly in the same place. And you also want to find the center of your hole here where your beam comes in and draw a line so that you can help center it back up. So you'll kind of know which direction it's facing. Okay, so before we take it all the way apart, I'm going to show you this. When this comes, this is the uh, lens holder. Now, a lot of people get to this point. I'm going to go ahead and talk about replacing the whole thing. I'll come to the other part in just a minute. Uh, uh, they'll take this out and they'll notice that the hole is too small for these threads to go in it won't it won't fit What you need to understand is this part unscrews. They don't show you that they don't give you any instructions uh, It may be tight You may need to wrap a piece of plastic or leather around it and use a pair of pliers You don't want to booger up these threads do not booger up these threads whatever you do. It'll cause you big problems uh, But that part will unscrew from there and once it does that will give you the right size for that to go up through the bottom and you screw this back up on the top okay now that said you don't have to replace this this lens holder will screw onto the factory and the lens is tight then you put that on with your set screw and you're done so if you want to do it that way and not have to worry about alignment or, or messing with this or changing out the mirror that would be the way to go if you do want to change the whole thing out simply unscrew this part and it'll come apart like so And then you'll take this part loose, like so, set it back up on there, run that through the bottom, and then screw this on from the top. Now you'll have to play with this a little bit. Once you get it, you'll want to actually, I got that in the way a little bit, uh, get this pretty tight and then hold the bottom and twist the top. And you notice I didn't get it all the way around there. So you may have to loosen it up and move it a little bit more and eventually you'll get a feel for it but you want it really tight you want to be able to twist that thing on there and that looks pretty good okay so now the top parts on there now you can go ahead and 
put your lens back in there. Now, on a Plano convex lens, remember, curved side goes up always. I don't care what people tell you. I don't care what you read. The curved side goes up. The curved side goes up, period. So, then you install that part. And then, you put the air assist section on. And tighten up the screw. And hook it up. Now, don't forget this. This doesn't come with a mirror. You have to take the mirror out of this one and put it in the new one. And this is a good time to inspect your mirrors and make sure that they're clean. So I'm just going to slide that out of the way. Slide it in. And tighten it up. And keep this old stuff. It could very seriously come in handy. You never know. And there you go. You just put on the light object air assist. Hope that helps. You guys be sure and uh, check out my YouTube channel and uh, like it and share it. Have a good rest of the day. Tech Bravo out.